Growing up, every kid dreams to be a professional athlete. How they travel the road to get there is what gives very few the opportunity to achieve their dream. After four years in Charlottesville, it is time for Morgan Moses to take that next step in his football career and join the likes of DeBrickashaw Ferguson, Eugene Monroe, and Brandon Albert as highly touted NFL offensive linemen. Moses was one of 30 prospects invited to New York City to attend the NFL draft and participate in events in the community leading up to the big three-day event. It began Wednesday morning with the NFL Play 60 Youth Festival at Chelsea Waterside Park. Play 60, you know, it was a great event today. You know, got, got to come out here and just throw the football to the kids. Actually got to play quarterback today, so it was definitely a big accomplishment. But Teddy Bridgewater, you know, gave me the gave me the ball, put the ball in my hand, and he actually played center. So Moses 3.0 coming out soon, quarterback edition slash tight end. Further, just you know, coming out here and enjoying the day with the kids and just getting around and running around, tossing the football, dancing, touchdown dances, and all that. It's a great deal. Just happy to be out here. So coming out here for the draft, you know, it definitely means a lot. You know, just having the blessing, the opportunity to be invited here and being out here with your family. This is actually my first time in New York, so I'm like a tourist my first time as well. So I'm getting out here, seeing the sights and, you know, just enjoying the process. Wednesday would come to a quiet end with just hours to go before the biggest days of these young men's lives. Despite it being one of the most important times of these 30 NFL hopefuls' lives, they are never too big to give back to the community. Thursday morning, they visited The Zone at Mount Sinai Children's Hospital. The Zone is an area of the hospital funded by Garth Brooks and Troy Aikman that allows the patients to forget about their medical issues and play games, color, read, and even be on a television show. This was a perfect opportunity for the prospects to get their mind off of the draft and get back to those who may not be as fortunate as they are. Being able to interact with all the kids and uh, you know play pool, play video games, and uh, you know just uh, be able to walk around with them and put smile on kids' faces. So uh, you know it got a little competitive out there with the Uno, the Uno game, but uh, you know we didn't we didn't get to finish it, but. That was just a blessing to be able to give back. You know, it's, not, it's never about just just football, but how you can impact other people's lives. After their community service, Moses and company returned back to their hotel and had the chance to relax and get ready for the big night.